Weather, it looks like today's probably the better day to be outdoors. The better of two kind of gloomy days. Yeah, it's going to be gloomy, but maybe a little bit of sunshine late in the day this afternoon, but don't expect a whole lot. Let's take a live look outside, and we are seeing some cloudy skies here in the coastal bend. Not as much fog, and that's because the winds have picked up, and it's going to be a little bit breezy for the start to our weekend. Now, our weather is pretty quiet, but parts of the nation, boy, especially across parts of the upper Ohio Valley, dealing with some of the worst flooding they've seen in a couple of decades. This is the Ohio River right near uh, the Cincinnati area, and it uh, looks like it's going to crest about four or five feet higher than they originally anticipated. They've had a lot of snow up there, and that snow has been melting. They've also had a lot of rain to combine, and all that water running downstream and causing some problems. We're looking at 70 degrees with the cloudy skies, and the winds are breezy out of the south side. Southeast at 20 miles per hour. Mild temperatures 70 in George West, 70 in Beeville, 70 in Rockport, the cooler spot, uh, 68 degrees at the Naval Air Station. Now you can see the winds out of the southeast and blowing anywhere between 10 and 20 miles per hour. So that's why we're not seeing a whole lot of fog in the inland areas, but we do have a dense fog advisory in effect for our waterways, and that's closer to Rockport. Small craft advisory has been issued for today as those winds are going to continue to pick up. Visibility at the Naval Air Station is at one mile over in Ingleside, about four miles, about three miles in Rockport. Did have a couple of strong thunderstorms that developed this morning. They're moving across parts of Bee County as we speak, just skirting in between Three Rivers and George West in Live Oak County and then moving into Bee County. But the uh, heavy shower activity is going to be occurring across parts of North East Texas. You can see these storms already blowing up from Wichita Falls over to just north of Dallas. We've got a lot of moisture coming in from the Pacific. We also have a lot of moisture coming in from the Gulf. They're going to blend together with a cold front. This is a Pacific cold front, so while it does have some cooler air, it's not that frigid stuff, but temperatures will be cooler for our Sunday, and we are looking at the heavier shower activity up here. Here is the cooler air. Abilene sitting at 39 degrees. Marfa is at 26 degrees, looking at 38 degrees in Midlands. So that cooler air will filter on by. We're getting into the time of year when we're just getting the tail end of those fronts. The future tracker indicating that we'll see some clouds across the area today. Now, as we move into the overnight hours, anywhere between 10, 11, 12 o'clock, that's when that front's going to come in. We'll see a chance of some showers and thunderstorms with that front and some overrunning more Moisture will continue to give us cloudy skies tomorrow. Now we're just under the threat of uh, maybe a few thunderstorms. Northeast Texas, better chance of big thunderstorms especially across parts of the Texarkana area, extending all the way up across western portions of Kentucky. This is where we're going to see the threat of those springtime-like th uh, thunderstorms that produce those tornadoes. So we're going to have to watch this part of the country today and those big thunderstorms already developing across the upper Ohio Valley. Freezing rain across parts of Iowa. We have another storm system coming in from the west. That's going to cool us down right around the middle part of next week. But you can see that cooler air out there looking at 6 degrees in Casper, Wyoming, 14 in Salt Lake City. Minneapolis is at 8 degrees, so cooler air will be impacting us at least somewhat, but not today. It's going to be warm. Look for a high temperature right around 81 degrees with the winds out of the south, 15 to 20 miles per hour. Showers and thunderstorms likely with that frontal boundary. We'll see an overnight low of 62. Only thing going to warm up to 68 degrees on Sunday. Pretty pleasant Monday and Tuesday with the clouds. Look for temperatures in the low to mid 70s. That next front is going to bring us some showers as we move into the middle part of the week. We're going to have a lot more coming up. Stay with us.